So today I'm actually going to be telling you how I went about making the mask that you see before you. This, uh, the mask that I've been wearing this whole time. The mask actually uh, started off uh, uh, looking a lot different than this. At first it originally was just a paper mache skull uh, pinned and sewn into a, uh, hawk, a, uh, I mean a ski mask and this is what it looked like. And that's pretty much all it was, was just a paper mache skull mask. So I got a head start on the mask. Um, but after that, I took black paint and a black paint marker and began to paint blackness around the eyes. Uh, and I actually, instead of there actually being a mouth here, I took uh, a black, um, the black marker and a paint marker and drew teeth and things. So it was just closed like that. Um, after a while, I kept it that way. But before I even started Slob Room, I actually uh, had it break a little bit. So I had this idea of actually trying to make it look a little more, you know, scary. <laughs> it, scary, <laughs> right? A little more interesting. So what I did is that I actually cut, cut off that portion of the mask. And I actually having it already been pinned to this black ski mask, I had uh, repinned it to an opening that I cut right here. Because originally I just had cuts in the, this, you know, obviously there was just the eyes here, there was no mouth. So I cut the out the mouth of the ski mask so that I can actually like breathe, you know, talk through it and whatnot. And then I, uh, I pinned it here and uh, here. You know, it's gone through some, you know, tough times. You know, this is ripped before. It ripped in half. There's actually a pin holding this together. A lot of different things. And it wasn't until a little after that I actually um, made eyes for it. I added a little more paint on the top and a little more paint around it. Added a couple more pins to look a little more weird and shit. But then, uh, you know, I, I made two eyes out of uh, plastic. And I took the plastic and I formed, I cut it out and I melted it a little bit and formed two eyes, which I painted, uh, I sanded and I painted with uh, white and black, obviously, you know. Uh, and there were actually two eyes. If you actually watch one of my, my oldest video, the first video I ever uploaded, that's the only time I believe that you can see this mask having two eyes. It had both eyes in and you know there's a certain part where it's really dark and it's blue and you can see me going like that blah, 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 with uh, having two eyeballs which was cool but then uh, I actually wore this wore this mask for Halloween and that's actually how it started I was like this would be a cool Halloween costume right so I actually went out on Halloween and I was you know roughhousing running around and stuff and the eye actually ended up falling out and I was like, shit, the eye fell out. And I was a little upset, right? And uh, But then I realized it actually looks kind of cool. So I kept it that way. Instead of gluing it back in, I kept it without with a missing eye. And I think that looks cool, you know, when it's, you know, in dim lighting or if it's nighttime, it actually looks just like a hollow eye socket, which I thought was really cool. And you're probably wondering how I actually saw out of the mask without with the two eyes in, is that there's actually just a tiny pinhole right in here where I can see out of. And that's pretty much it. You know, there's a tiny pinhole in this whiting that I can see out of. And that's how it is. But, you know, I went through a lot of shit and it got banged up a little bit. But, you know, that's where the mask is today. Um, I thought that would be cool to share with you guys how... Because some of you were wondering, you messaged me on how I actually made the mask and stuff. So I thought that would be cool to let you guys know how it started, what it looked like before and everything. And, uh... Yeah, um, thank you for watching. Uh, I actually have a Facebook page now if you're interested. Uh, if you're interested at fucking all, if you would, <laughs> you know, whatever. I just made it so that I could share a little bit more with you guys. Um, it's uh, facebook.com slash slob room. And uh, yeah, you know, leave a like and subscribe. Do do what you want, man. You know, whatever, whatever you feel. And uh, you guys have a good one. I'll be releasing some new content soon. Thanks for watching.